So now that we've fully exhausted the topic of how to select elements in jQuery, what can we do with it? Well, one thing we can do is use the two built-in methods, add class and remove class, to change the look on the fly. Now, for those of you who are watching this for the first time on YouTube, uh, let me just mention that I've been doing a whole series on jQuery on the blog that you can check out. You can check out the uh, uh, address for my blog at the bottom of the video here. Now, let's get rid of this. We're not going to need this right now. The first thing I want to show you is our basic HTML. What we've done, of course, we've got the uh, our style sheet linked in here and our uh, jQuery scripts. But the actual HTML is just this uh, div with here is some text. And if we run this, uh, you'll go look at the style sheet. We have a red class and a blue class. The red class is defined as a 12 pixel font with a color of red and a blue font as a 20 pixel font with the color of blue. Uh, Quite imaginative, but it's enough for a demo. So without any jQuery running, that's what we get, red text. Now let's go put our jQuery back in here. You know, see we're selecting that main ID adding a blue class and removing a red class. And so what we're going to end up with is large blue text on the screen. Now you'll notice we've done one other thing. One of the things that uh, jQuery will allow us to do is chaining. So this selected our main ID, this changed the class to blue, or added the, the blue class, and returned the same element that we selected here, and then uh, did the remove class. And what this is doing is it's, it allows us to chain all of our methods together and do it in one long line rather than having to do multiple lines of code. 